If you're not playing Falc like a Juggernaut, you're not playing it right. Today I'm making this guide to help you as a player understand Falc, her main gadget, passive trait, tricks and things you may not have known about her, weapon recommendations, and secondary gadget recommendations. In my opinion, Falc is a support role that excels with a very aggressive playstyle. So one of Falc's main roles as a support specialist is being a healer. She can heal teammates to full health with a Sarep pistol. Um, with the Sarep pistol, she can actually do this at range, being that each shot is actually magnetized towards teammates, so you're less likely to miss. So another feature about the Sarep pistol is that actually she can trigger a uh, cell fuel animation to begin, and she can regen herself to full health. The animation itself does have a long startup, so most people opt out into just shooting the floor or a wall or something, because whenever that's done, the uh, Sarep pistol actually becomes a real world object, and it's something you can pick up or other teammates can pick up to heal themselves. But what most people don't know is everyone knows that you can sprint while doing the animation, but not many people know you can traversal sprint while doing it. And while using the traversal sprint, I've won countless 3v1s, 4v1s. The reason I would recommend using the animation more is if you have auto traversal sprint on, it honestly gives you that chance with good movement to get in and out of cover faster instead of stopping to just shoot the ground then heal, you know? Those couple seconds you stop might kind of cost you. In fact, as a character with a strong ability to self-heal and with good movement, you're more likely to survive. Another neat trick about the threat pistol is if you're being revived by a non falc teammate, you can actually start the self heal animation to save some time. Her passive trait, Combat Surgeon, allows you to heal any teammates of full health. Do your best to revive as many teammates as you possibly can that you see are downed. But be aware of your surroundings, you don't want to be the guy that goes for Ram Revive and ends up getting yourself killed and the person you just revived killed again. Now I'm going to give some weapon recommendations that I think suit her aggressive playstyle and that being the SMGs. The PBX-45 is probably an SMG I've put a lot of time into. Um, it's good in close quarters and mid distance from what I found. Um, together using you know the tricks with the Sarep pistol, good movement. I've done a lot of damage with this gun and honestly it's probably one of my favorites. It's one of the SMGs you have unlocked right off the bat so you can actually use it to help you further level up. Using the plus system I basically ran this SMG as like a hybrid one so I would have attachments set up for a close quarters and one for mid distance so I could quickly swap out using the plus system. EP29. You unlock this gun at level 18. We all know how good this gun is. The gun is just dumb. There's not really much to say about it. The MP9. You unlock this gun at level 36. It's basically the lower level's K30. Has high rate of fire, really good hip fire. It's laser beam accurate with little to no recoil. So you can actually beam kids from a distance, but the damage at range is really weak. Um, the one drawback I found is when you get enough kills to get, you know, the close combat drum, which holds 50 rounds, you only get one spare uh, drum along with that, as compared to, like, a K30, which you get, like, two spare drums being, like, a 100-round spare. And if you've noticed during a lot of these clips of giving my weapon recommendations, you see me using Sarep, you know, the Sarep pistol tricks, going in and out of cover, really taking advantage of the fact that Falcon healed during gunfights and pushing right away to take down the enemy. Full of Delta the K30 you unlock at 53 after a long grind to get to this gun it's honestly worth it it's my second most used SMG has extreme rate of fire really good hip fire um, the amount of times I've turned and burned on somebody is is ridiculous it's one of those shoot second win gunfight kind of guns the K30 has more spare ammo as to compare, you know, the MP9 using the drum mag. So that's one plus to it. Has higher rate of fire. Just as good of, um, hit fire. The only issue is probably has a little bit more recoil, but it's still very controllable. And you understand the gun, you'll just be ripping through people. I get you moving. Hold on. Allied 
troops have captured Bravo 2. Right here again, you can tell I'm just using the Surrette pistol tricks, being really aggressive, defending this flag with my life, with the help of the K30, high rate of fire, I'm just ripping through kids like it's nothing. Now I'm gonna go through some secondary guys with Falc that suit my playstyle, and maybe some that might suit you. C5 Explosive is a secondary gadget I mainly run. I just like having the option to take down some armored vehicles if I need to. Not only is it good against armored vehicles, but I also use it to set up traps for infantry like you've seen in the past clips. The IBA armor plate is an equipable armor plate that takes place of your secondary gadget. I can't tell you how many times I've survived with the 20 extra hit points that it gives you in close quarter situations or when I've been revived by an angel. Without the armor plate in this situation, I most likely would have died from that Casper, and I wouldn't have been able to use my Surrette pistol tricks going into cover, jumping out, to then take out that dozer. The ammo crate might be another option for you if you'd like to be even more supportive of your teammate. There's really not much to say about this. If you see a group of teammates, throw the ammo at them. If you see any teammates, just throw the ammo at them. Don't be the guy running ammo and you don't give it out. Recoilless M5 rocket launcher is another good anti-vehicle, anti-infantry option uh, with range. It was something I used to use a lot in the beginning before I opted out for the C5 because it just kind of suited what I, how I like to play really. Now moving on to the throwables. The main one I use the proximity sensor. When you throw it down, it shows all enemies within its range on your minimap. They'll keep flashing. It's also a good form of XP to help you level faster. Uh, your teammates as well can see what's going on on the radar. Smoke grenades are another option that can be used in defensive and offensive ways. I've used it a lot of times to get a flank off on some unsuspected enemies by giving myself some visible cover to run through or throwing it at you know vehicles to then run up and see for them. The ways that I've used them defensively would be like, if a teammate's down in front of me, I'll throw a smoke grenade on them so I can pick them up safely without being seen by enemies. Another time would be to just uh, make a safe push to then kill the enemy that I'm that's around my down teammate so I can actually safely revive them. Frag grenades are pretty self-explanatory. They're mainly used against infantry, but also can be used against vehicles and they're unlocked by default. EMP grenades not only mess with enemies HUDs, but when it comes to their vehicles they can disrupt their offensive and defensive capabilities like their smoke and flares, so it gives you the chance to destroy them without them fighting back. My main reason for making this guide on Falk is I've seen a lot of tier lists where she's placed really low and honestly I strongly disagree. In the right hands and with an aggressive playstyle, I think she excels the most and she can just do a lot of damage. I hope I am showing people a different kind of perspective on her strengths and what she can really do. Um, this video was really hard to make and I know it's kind of amateurish so I forgive me for that. This is kind of new to me. But um, if you did learn something or uh, you know you want to you know debate about something kind of or go more in depth about it leave a comment um, like subscribe. I definitely have more things like this coming. Um, Falc to me 
is really fun. She is my main. I don't really think I'm going to switch up with her depending on what specials get released later on. But for me, she's really fun and she really does suit my playstyle. With this guy, you don't necessarily have to follow everything exact. If you don't like SMGs, you can use ARs. I just recommend the SMGs because in the game's current state, there's a lot of bloom on the ARs. But I'm sure after the time of this upload, um, they are going to address the bloom, which is they said recently they are going to address it. So, you know, you have more options from there. Um, if you like LMGs, you can use LMGs. It, it really is kind of up to you, but I kind of just wanted to further express like what she could really do. If there is something that you need further explanation on, comment down below. Um, if you want, you know, certain like class setups, what attachments I used on the SMGs, things like that, I can definitely break it down in a detailed way on what I use and what I don't use. Also, I appreciate everyone that has been supporting my channel. I'm a really small channel. Those likes and those subs they really do mean a lot. So appreciate that and thank you again. The Road to 1K subs is going to be a long one. More than likely, this video is going to be uploaded on Thanksgiving Day. So happy holidays. Hope everything is well for you guys. Um, there is supposed to be an update as well today. So again, a lot of things could change in the guide. And I think it has to be taken word for word. But I just kind of hope I gave you like sort of a, a building foundation with her. Um, thank you again to everyone that's been watching the videos, the subs, and everything that means a lot to me. I definitely have more stuff like this, you know, coming on the way. Definitely keep, you know, coming back to check everything out.